I struggle with the soul riffy because like many aspiring artists, I faced rejection and silence. Right after high school, I was making music, pouring my heart into my craft, and sending emails to magazines hoping they share my work. But no one ever replied. It was discouraging to say the least. I felt like I was shouting into the void, desperately seeking someone to acknowledge my art, my voice, and my vision. It wasn't until 2017 that I had a realization. If no one was going to give me a platform, why not create one myself? That's when the idea of the Soul Rific was born. At first, I'll admit, it was a bit selfish. The goal was simple, to build a digital magazine that would gain a following, and eventually, I'd introduce that audience to act music. It seemed like a clever way to carve out space in an industry that didn't seem to notice me, but what I didn't expect was how deeply passionate I'd become about this project. Not just for myself, but for others as well. As I started sharing other artists' stories, how they came up, the struggles they faced, and the art they were creating, I felt something shift. It wasn't just about me anymore. Listening to their journeys, giving them a voice, a platform, and seeing how much it meant to them. It ignited something in me. Suddenly, the Soul Briefing wasn't just a vehicle for my own success. It became a passion project that gave me purpose. It reminded me why I loved being part of the creative community in the first place. There's something incredibly fulfilling about being able to lift others up, to help them be seen and heard, especially in a world that can be so competitive and isolating for artists. I realized that the power of the Soul Riffic wasn't in building an audience. It wasn't giving a platform to others and sharing stories that might otherwise go untold and in connecting people who are passionate about their craft. Yes, the Soul Riffic is still in the beginning stages and sure, I could be chasing the millions of followers of recognition that so many crave in this digital age, but I'm not. What drives me every single day, what keeps me working on the Soul Riffic is a simple idea. If I can inspire just one person through these interviews, if I can introduce someone to a new artist or help someone get any fan or two, then my job is done. That to me is success. It's not about the numbers, it's about the impact. It's about being part of something bigger than myself, being able to shine a light on creativity, passion, and perseverance is what keeps me going. And along the way, I realized that the soul worth it has inspired me just as much as I hope it inspired others. So if there's one thing I've learned from this journey, it's this. Sometimes your initial dream may evolve into something even more meaningful. You may start with one goal in mind, but the path you take can lead to a purpose greater than you ever imagined. I've stopped worrying about recognition or fame because what truly matters is making a difference, even in small ways. If you're passionate about what you do, and if you're helping others along the way, you're already successful. That's what keeps me creating. That's what keeps me pushing with the soul riffing. And that's what I hope will inspire you too. Whether you're an artist, a creator, or someone chasing their dreams, don't get caught up in the superficial stuff. Do it because it moves you, because you believe in it, and because it has the power to uplift others. If I can do that, if I can be small part of someone else's creative journey, then I know I'm on the right path. So, 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 so.